Breaking news on this Friday night, another high-ranking official leaving the Trump administration. Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price resigning after days of criticism for his use of private aircraft. Politico first revealed that Price billed taxpayers for the more costly flights, flying private, instead of flying commercial, which obviously would have been cheaper. Well, yesterday, Price announced he would pay taxpayers back for the flights he took. But our question for you tonight, should Tom Price have been fired over his use of private jets charging the taxpayers? Vote right now on WSA9.com slash vote or on our WSA9 app, and we'll have the results in in just a couple of minutes. I want to bring in Pete Montine, who is tracking this situation for us. So, so Pete, what can, we tell, what can you tell us about, about Tom Price? I mean, first of all, why wasn't he out there just flying Delta? Why is he chartering these flights? Well, he was chartering some flights to places as close as Philly, so only 90 or 100 miles away. And then he was taking some of these government flights, these Gulfstream jets, to Europe and Asia and Africa on this big trip. That one cost about a half million dollars. So this is not a good look for the agency, which is trying to plead fiscal responsibility. Tom Price, when he was in Congress, that was his big uh, thing. And so now it, it doesn't look great for the administration. And then also against the backdrop of Tom Price not getting a big win on Trump care. Uh, President Trump already a little bit upset with him. So this didn't go well for him. And yeah. it sure does seem like he's fired now. The question was, should he have been fired? And, and this is a resignation, sure. But thank Trump expected this resignation. Yeah, we all saw it kind of trending in that sure. direction. We'll bounce back to this topic here in just a second more broadly. But first, what do we know about the person who has been tapped to replace Price? So Don J. White, he's uh, an undersecretary, if you will. He's an assistant deputy and in the HHS. He's been there since 09, so he's been under Obama before. Uh, he's a George W. Bush appointee. And a little bit of a local connection here. We know that he's from Arlington, at least on his LinkedIn page, although he's a Texan, it seems like, by birth. He's Texan raised, Texan educated. Uh, so he goes into office effective midnight tonight. Gotcha. And of course, he'll have to ultimately be confirmed by the full Senate. You know, back to the investigation and the, the more details are coming out. This thing's like an onion. We peel it back more <laughs> and there are more layers and it stinks even more because Price turns out isn't the only one who's come under scrutiny for chartering these private flights. What well, else do we know? about? And that? who says journalism is dead in this age? I mean, it seems like good journalists have really sort of pounced on this. And Washington Post now reported that David Shulkin, uh, the VA secretary, one on this big London trip uh, not too long ago over, over the summertime, and his wife was with him on this trip. And for more than half of that time, according to the Post analysis, he was essentially just a tourist. He went to Wimbledon, uh, he went to Westminster Abbey, went shopping with his wife. So still not a good look for the administration, and this seems like more will come out. Yeah, and before the stuff about Price even came out, there were the questions about Steve Mnuchin flying sure. out to Fort Knox with his wife, and now the Post is raising questions about Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke. It'll be interesting to see how far down the rabbit hole we go with this. Pete, yeah. as always, appreciate the insight. Thanks, Adam. Thank you.